What's up YouTube? My name's Cricky, welcome back to the channel. See this face? This is my worried face. Or oh, it was my worried face. I'm not worried anymore because I've sorted it. However, um, I know Jamie said not to go for carbs. However, you know, stick the carbs and everything else back on yet. Or get them all rebuilt, should I say. There's nothing to stick them on to. <laughs> um, he, he wanted me to start out on the radiator and all cooler, which I am going to do. However, I thought, I don't know, I'll just have another little look. And looking at a load of these O-rings, bearing in mind the bike hasn't run or anything in like 21 years, the O-rings is shot, they're knackered. Um, like quite a few of them just peel off and where you pulled some of the connectors out, they just fell off. And the ones that are left is like dead hard and all the rest of it. So, you know, it's no good, they've got to be replaced. Um, got in touch with the local bike shop, they ain't got any. Went on Flea Bay, they ain't got any. Well, they have, stupid money. <laughs> Um, in total, I need 8, 16, 28, 32 of them. <laughs> you can get them from the States, which will take ages, about £5 a pop. Bugger off, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, got in touch with Fowlers. They've got all of them apart from four of them. Um, so I've, got, I've just ordered those up and they're on their way. So they're coming out by DPD, should be next day. So at least we'll have all the O-rings so we can stick it all back together again once the engine is sorted and we can, because I really want to hear the damn thing run. If I can get the radiator and the oil cooler on today, uh, and then we can, I've got the shims there on their way. They should be here on Wednesday, which with deliveries, it normally gets here Wednesday afternoon when I'm at work. So I'm not going to be able to do the shim, you know, do the valve gaps until Thursday. And then we've got a bank holiday Friday. So, you know, they, they better get here on Wednesday. <laughs> but if, if all that lot came, but I still had like knackered O-rings and everything else, we still wouldn't be able to get the damn thing going because there'd be no way of hooking the carbs up to the engine. So I'm having to order it now. 90 quid on O-rings. 90 quid on O-rings. You get a whole kit for like, I don't know, 15 quid. <laughs> Trouble is, there ain't enough for the right ones in there to get the job done. So hands are sort of tied, really. But anyway, they're on order. Um, right, let's have a look at radiators and stuff. Right, and that's the radiator and its hoses, which is a bit of goo inside, but that'll all flush out. That's all fine. This is a radiator. So the radiator actually looks in really good nick. Hold it up to the light, you can see straight through it. The veins then bent and boshed and all that sort of stuff, and it's all quite clear. Um, well, it needs, you know, it's going to need a flush out, isn't it? But we could do that, that's easy enough. Um, don't think that's the original radiator either, because it just looks too new. <laughs> that's not 32 years old. If it has, it's been out for a ride around the block and that's it. It's not done 62,000 miles. So I'm happy with that one. Uh, oil cooler on the other hand. Can't really say the same for that. <laughs> yeah, i have a look. Um, where are you? There you go. Have a look at that. Look. All the cooling fins and stuff is like bossed over and whatnot. The front in that much, but you probably can't see. I'm going to give it a blast through with water and stuff just to see. Because it just looks like there's loads of crap in there. But loads of these, these little cooling fins is all bent and mangled and everything else. We've got a broken tab up here. The other three is okay, but that one ain't. So this is going to need to be replaced at some point. Um, trouble is, I'm not a bottomless pit of money. So it's going to have to wait for a little bit. Um, we'll try and clean out loads of the crap in here and sort of see where we go from from there, I suppose. But this is going to have to go on the bike to start off with. which I'm not really happy about, but I ain't got a choice. So, um, let's grab the ice pipe, give them a blast, and we'll see where we go from there, right?
I'm soaking. I feel like a toddler again. Um, right, so the radio is all fine. That's lovely, you can see through it. You know, it's current reasonably clean and blah, blah, blah. All the pipe work and stuff is grand. Um, where's my thing? Where's my rag? I'm soaked. Um, the oil cooler, he's had a bit of a spritz and a, you know, a blow through and stuff. Um, some people are going to say, get a pressure washer on it. No, don't do that. I've done that in the past. Um, thing is, a pressure washer is too aggressive, I found, because I had an okay, this was on the, the fire blade. Radio, it was all right, but I had loads of like road muck and goo and everything else bunging up all the holes. So I blasted it with a, um, a pressure washer and it just bent loads of those little cooling fins. So I don't do that anymore. You do what you want, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Just a hose pipe is a, is a lot less pressure. You know, you still get it to come out a fair old rate. So it's still gonna push its way through, but I just, I don't use a pressure washer for it anymore. So this has been um, blasted with a hose pipe and stuff as well. Then uh, there, you know, there was oil in it. At some point, it's all gone a bit claggy, so it might have had a bit of petrol down it. <laughs> Just to try and break stuff up. I filled it up sort of like three or four times, drained it all out, I've blown it through, blah, blah, blah. Um, don't look to be any leaks in it, which is a good thing. That's the other worry that I had, because if you know any of this has kind of got nasty, then it could leak. I can see more daylight through it. I can't see a great deal of daylight through it. Um, I did have a look on eBay. Um, to see if there's any others going around. It's none in the UK, none anywhere. I can get them from Australia, um, the Netherlands, Germany for about 70 quid. Um, or I could go to Fowler's and get a brand new one for 352 quid. <laughs> he can poke it. He's already had 90 quid out of me today. <laughs> so we're going to go with this one for now. At some point I am going to replace it though, just because, you know, it's going to cool. It's not going to cool as much as it should be. And I don't like the fact that one of these tabs is broken off. Um, there is still stuff there to hold on to it with, but, you know, it's not as it should be. So at some point it will get replaced, but that's going to have to wait because I've got paint jobs and everything else to sort out yet. Um, so let's have a go and see where these fit. I've got my banjos. Yeah, he's that one. Just need some new couple of washers. And we should be gold. Right, let's, um, where does this go? Right, before I go sticking radiators on, I just want to bung all these holes up because it's all open and you don't need to be. And we don't need to get in there anymore. Engine's all timed. Um, so Jamie did have these painted or he painted it or something. I don't know. Um, but the old gasket is still on. So that is now baked on by the looks of it. It don't want to come off. <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit. And I hate using Stanley blades on mating surfaces. It is so easy. Well, I find it's really easy just to dig in and take a chunk out, which is obviously a bad thing. Um, given the choice, I would just use GT85 and a Scotch Brite. But we need to get this old gasket off. And he's proving stubborn. Well, I just cleaned up the mating surfaces with a Scotch-Brite and some of that GT, GT85. 
which is good. So he just cleans it all up. So the clutch cover is all buttoned down. Uh, the crankcase cover is on, but it is just loose. Um, reason being is I am going to need to get in there um, when the shims turn up because I want to be able to turn the, the engine over just so I can recheck all the gaps and everything and make sure my valve gaps is okay. So he's on um, and it does sort of bung up the hole, but we are going to be going back in there again. So I suppose it's radiator and all cooler now, isn't it? Let's um, have a look. Why has it got two horns? I don't get that. Surely one is enough. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's um, have a look and see O-rings. bit of a quandary. Um, I'm just doing sorting out these uh, threads on the, the, the radiator mounts because I was just ropey and chewed up and all sorts. Um, the radiator fixes by there's like a peg that goes into a rum of grobbit on a bracket on the bottom and then you've got these two points up here which has just got rubbers in that obviously a shoulder bolt goes through and that's what fixes it down. I've been going through all the bits and pieces that Jamie had um, this is the sort of bolt, like that, where it's got that wide bit to it. That's the sort of thing that I need. Can I find one? No. <laughs> Not an M8 one, anyway. Um, and I don't think I've got any in my little box of bits, either. I've been dig digging, I just I can't find one. Um, oh, hello, what's that? I don't know, but that's not M8. <laughs> so what we might be doing is I've got some M8 bolts and stuff, obviously, and like big repair washers. That will go through and it will sit quite nicely on there. So we're probably just going to end up doing that, I think. Um, I don't really see as I've got much of a choice. But we'll get this back on and we'll see where we go. Right. radiator is all on, it's all sturdy, it's not going anywhere, it's all plumbed in as well. So it's a couple of wires here to go to the, uh, the temperature jobby. There's um, this connector here, which goes to the fan. It's the only connector that looks like that anywhere near here. So I'm assuming it goes there. I have got a few that I don't know where they go. They're just sort of hanging about. <laughs> those and those. I haven't got a clue what they do, but everything else is plumbed in. Um, but we are all good and gold. Um, the horns, I couldn't see where they went because they've got this stupid bracket on. However, looking at it now that the radiator's on, um, can you see that there is the mounting bolt? And these horns actually fit on, oh, come on. They fit on lovely and line up just like that. <laughs> so I'm thinking that these go onto the top of the um, the radiator mount, in which case I don't need that repair washer on top. We'll just use the bracket as a bit of a, a load spreader. So, um, but I'm not the fella that took all the bike apart, so I don't know. I'm having to learn as I'm going. Right, so anyway, this week, Friday and the Monday, that's a bank holiday. So I'm going to be in here all day on Friday trying to get stuff done. Because obviously Jamie's in on the Saturday and I do want to get it running. Not bothered about airbox or anything. It'll run without that. But... You know, we've still got quite a lot of stuff to be getting on with. All cooler needs to go on, the valve gaps need to sort in, the carbs need to be rebuilt and stuck on, the exhaust needs to go on, blah de blah de blah 
So I've got to work that out, but I do want to get this thing going. Um, anyway, time is tipping on. I'll be back. I'm back. And I'm not happy. <laughs> right, today's Thursday. Um, uh, where do I start? Right, today's Thursday. We've got a bank holiday weekend coming up. So Friday and the Monday, basically nothing is going. Um, I have had a couple of deliveries. So this is the big O-rings that seal the carbs up to the air box. And then this is my Fowler's order, because they're always good as gold. And that's all the O-rings for the carbs. What I don't have is the shims, which I really, really, really need. And also the sump gasket. That's a problem. Um, they're supposed to have been here yesterday. They ain't. So I'm gonna send them a message. Okay, I've sent them a message. <laughs> um, tried the phone number, um, that didn't go anywhere, so I sent them a message going, get in touch, I need these, I need them by the bank holiday, which basically means they need to be here today. They're all marked as being dispatched, but they're not here yet. Um, so, I don't know, I'm just going to have to crack on, do what I can, and I'm going to have to check in the office before I leave. Um, it does prompt a couple of questions, though. Because I'm looking at this, and then I'm looking at those exhaust headers, and I'm thinking, is that going to go on? If I've got the radiator and all cooler and stuff back in. I don't think it will. I'm not sure. Um, I want to make sure I've got everything I need just to button all this stuff up anyway. But it might mean it's got to come off again. <laughs> Reason being, you want to take the sump off just to make sure that nothing's you know, got in there, nuts and bolts or anything else. Because I don't want anything like that floating about. Um, I don't know, I might be taking the sump off next. Hmm. Is it in? Uh, yes. So we've got this other bit of pipe that comes out the back of the cylinder head. Um, and then it goes off up to the thermostat, I believe. There's this hose that, uh, how does he go? He's going to go on like that and kind of snake around here and go up there. Um, I'm probably not going to stick this on just yet because obviously the head and everything else has got to go on, but at least I can get that in. A um, couple of cap heads and washers. Right, I want to get the sump off. I just, I've got to have a look. <laughs> um, so we're going to start off with taking out the oil filter. He lives up in there. Um, oh, you're going to be in the way. What's that? All pressure switch. Oh, he's just zip tied on. Come on. Right, so he's out of the way. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> you find all these little things, don't you? Um, right. Oh, it'll go out of the way. What are you? 17?
Right, so there's the sump off. It is gooey and horrible. <laughs> it smells absolutely rank as well. Um, we did, I'm going to get a picture of this up, but this is the rubbish that I fished out the bottom of it. I have no idea what that is. It's almost like a, like a, I don't know, like a corn kernel sort of thing. It's, I think it's plastic, because you, you squeeze it and it cracks. Um, we did find something a little bit more solid in there. I don't know, it moves, um, and you can squeeze it. Um, you know, I don't know what it is. Um, there isn't a whole hell of a lot in there, but there is stuff in there. Um, there is a little bit in the strainer as well. You can probably see those little specks. The engine's done 62,000 miles. There's, there's a lot of paint and stuff in here as well. I don't know what that is. He can go there. It's paint. <laughs> and there's just junk and rubbish and all sorts of stuff in it. Um, so yeah, 62,000 miles. Um, I don't know how it was stashed at mateys that had it for like, you know, it's not running 21 years. All this is just turned to treacle, basically. It stinks. It really isn't very pleasant. So anyway, <coughs> um, the underside. Um, yeah, and the underside all looks quite happy and whatnot. Um, obviously, there's uh, a gasket that needs to be replaced that goes around here. I hope that is going to turn up to date along with the shims, because otherwise this isn't getting started over the bank holiday weekend. Um, but all this lot needs to be cleaned up. So I'm thinking, uh, well, I'm just going to pressure wash this to stall, you know, like hose pipe wash it to start off with. Then it's all going to get degreased. I might even shove it through the ultrasonic just because, you know, that's going to get in all the galleries and stuff that I can't get to. And then we'll squirt it all out with water again, blow it all out with air, and we'll just see what happens. It's just manky as hell, basically. Um, I would shove it in the parts washer that I've got. Um, however, that's all in bits because that's in a right state. Jack's, and this would just fit in there quite happily. Um, but Jack's going to, you know, shot blast and powder coat it for me. I've got all the pump and everything else out of it. It's just I haven't got it to use right now. I might have that strainer off and just see what's behind it. Um, and we're going to give this a proper good clean. That's all better. Look at this. Where are you? Here you go. All nice and clean again. All the goo is gone. Um, basically, I just used that. Uh, it's got, I've had this for ages, but because it's really old, it really, really works. It's not like modern stuff. Gunk engine degreaser. But basically, it's all just got brushed down with that. It's all been washed out. I did have it on a piece of cardboard out there whilst I was doing it, and I did turn it upside down and put the mating surface down. But, oh, hello, where'd you come from? You go in there? Yes. I think you go in there. <laughs> I'm going to have to check now. Yes, you go in there. Um, but anyway, yeah, I did have it on a piece of cardboard. Um, and I'm not too fussed about it. One, because it was on cardboard, and two, because all the gasket material is still on the mating surface. That's all got to come off. Um, talking about gaskets, I haven't had any deliveries yet. The gasket could still show up. Uh, I've been down the office, nothing's here yet. But if the gasket shows up, then all that lot can go back on and it, it's, it could turn up later on today. So if it does, Mike is going to be shoving it in my back door just so I can get all that done over the weekend, which is cool. Um, the not so good bit is, you remember I told you I sent them a message about where's my shims? Well, they just responded. 
oh, there is a 10 to 14 day wait on the 2.4 shims that you ordered. I need four of them, basically. 10 to 14 day wait. So we was waiting for them all to be here so we could send them all off in one go, just to save on their bloody postage. Um, well, yeah, I understand that, that's, that's fine. However, it does mean the bike ain't gonna be running this week. Because I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, where there's gonna be no deliveries, and even if there was, I've got to wait 10 days. I can't believe that, I've been working so hard on this. But I mean, there's nothing I can do. It's like if parts don't turn up, parts don't turn up. There isn't anywhere locally I can get them. Um, you know, they cost a bubble or two as well, because I need quite a few. <laughs> So it's not like I'm just going to rush out and go and get some from elsewhere. I did phone up the local bike shop just in the off chance they had some workshop ones. They in. There's a 10 to 14 day wait on those as well. So I've just got to wait for them to turn up. Um, which, I mean, I'm sure everybody goes through this when they're doing a project and they want this thing and it ain't turned up yet and they're just kicking their heels waiting for it to turn up so they can crack on. But it's so annoying because I've got four days where I could have out this and really make some good progress. But anyway, there's nothing I can do about that. However, there is other stuff that I can do. So I wasn't going to clean the exhaust up. I was just going to stick them on. Well, they're getting clean now. <laughs> and if the sump gasket does turn up, all that lot can go back on the bottom of the bike. The exhaust can go on. The radiator and the oil cooler and all the lines for that lot can go on. Um, the carbs, I've got all the bits to um, rebuild those. All the O-rings have turned up and you know we've got the service kits. So all that lot can go back together again and that lot can get shoved on. And you know, set float heights and all that sort of thing. There's plenty to be doing. Um, it's just I really wanted to get all that done this next four days. So we actually had the bugger running and I can't do it. <laughs> It's so annoying, so annoying. So I've got to tell Jamie anyway. I don't know what his plans were over the, the bank holidays. Um, he was on about coming down, you know, obviously giving his hand to get it going. So if that's not an option, I mean, I can do all the rest of it myself. That's fine. If he wants to come down and play, brilliant. But... <laughs> oh. Right, OK. So anyway, that's where I'm leaving it and I'm leaving it on a complaint, but I am leaving it. And I'm going to be back in tomorrow because I do need to chip off and get off to me work. So thank you ever so much for watching. Do hope you're well and staying safe. We'll see you on the next one. Layers.